ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School. It's Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Mike Tarosian is our cameraman for this afternoon's game as the five and four Hopkinton Hillers take on six and six Dedham. It is a TBL matchup right here on HCAM. Let's take a look at the Dedham lineup batting first and playing shortstop is Gianna Schiapara. The first baseman batting second, Ashley Gallard. Batting third is the third baseman, Maddie Friday. The designated player is hitting cleanup, Cassidy Hickey. The pitcher, Molly Egan, hitting fifth. Vanessa Tanetta, the second baseman, hitting sixth. Sierra Balot, the catcher, hitting seventh. Lucia Florio, the right fielder, hitting eighth. And Julia Salome, the center fielder, hitting ninth for the Dedham Marauders. Larry, why don't you fill us in on the Hillers field today? Let's go around the diamond, Tom. We got Emma Murphy playing third, Alyssa McIntyre playing shortstop, Emily Whalen at second base, Bella Onzi, the first baseman, Jordan Chevry in left, Megan Sullivan in center, Kristen McCluskey in right, Katie Hawley on the mound, and Jill Cedia behind the plate. And there are your Hillers as Gianna Schiaparra takes ball one, a low pitch from Katie Hawley. Gianna Schiaparra, the shortstop. It is a beautiful, partly cloudy, sunny, 75 degree day. Perfect weather for high school softball. It's now a one and one count to Schiaparra. We're dealing with one umpire today. He may get double the pay, double the heckles. Yeah, one of the uh, the other umpire, I guess a little uh, late coming from another game is that pitch up high, two and one. Let's take a look at the junior pitcher for the Hillers, Katie Holly, a 481 ERA in 16 innings pitched for Katie. As this one's hit in the air, over to left field, that's to the fence, that's gonna drop down for a hit. Skiar Parra around first, over to second she goes. A lead off double for Dedham. That'll bring up Ashley Gillard, the first baseman. There was no chance for Chevry out there in left field. That ball was hit on the line. She's got a good piece. We'll see if uh, dead player's gonna bunt her over. Today is Katie Hawley's fifth appearance in the pitcher's circle. The bunt pulled back and the runner thought about taking off and she looked briefly trapped for a moment but was able to turn back around. 0-1 oh count to Ashley Gillard, the first baseman. Holly deals, swinging strike. Well, Katie Holly has been relied on to do a lot of pitching so far this season and will be relied on going forward. Emily Whalen has also made a good amount of appearances as well. So that one's fouled away. Emily pitched yesterday in a loss to Medway. Katie pitched the game before against Westwood, I believe. Well, you got the uh, unique two pitcher rotation for the Hillers this season. Typically it's one pitcher all season long. Strike three there, one away. Nice job by CD holding on to the ball. That'll bring up Maddie Friday, the third baseman. Skip power over at second after hitting a leadoff double. One away for Dedham. Pitch up high, 1-0. and oh. Cedia likes to throw. The runner at first, second base is taking a big, huge lead. Set to deliver, and this is up the third base side. That is a base hit. Schiapara gonna be waved around, and she will score easily. One to nothing, Dedham, and now Maddie Friday advancing to second. And the throw in, and she is safely aboard. An RBI single for Maddie Friday, and she advances on the throw. Little mix up with the cutoffs there. Chevrolet should have thrown the ball to second. The runner was gonna score anyway. Brings up Cassidy Hickey, the designated player. Swing strike. It looked like a change up. Delivers, and this is hit in the air over to right center, and that'll drop down in front of Megan Sullivan. Lead runner heading over to third, and she will stay put. 
a single for Cassidy Hickey. One away, runners on the corners for Dedham. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Molly Egan. The Dumbo, Denver, uh, if the Dedham, I'll step on it again. If the Dedham runner takes off, we'll see the throw through. We shall see, O oh and one. I think CD will hold on to it, knowing that there's a speedster over at third. Up the middle, gloved by Holly, threw over to first for one, and the runner's gonna stay put at third. Best case scenario for the Hillers. Nice play by Holly. Quick reflexes. So the pitcher Molly Egan goes down two to three, and that'll bring up Vanessa Tanetta. Cassidy Hickey did advance the second. Two outs, two on. That's fouled away. That was a very good job there by Katie Holly. Took a peek over at third base to keep the runner at bay and then was able to turn around and easily get the out at first. Larry, you mentioned it numerous times during the last broadcast. Defense is certainly a strong part of the Hillers game this season. It's just the little things. Missing a cutoff person, adds a base. Love by the shortstop, threw over to first, no problem. Six to three goes to Netta, and that'll wrap up the top half of the first inning. Dedham plates a run, it's one to nothing, heading to the bottom of the first on H-Can. Welcome back to Hopkinton High School as we are set for the bottom of the first, a one nothing lead for Dedham over the Hillers. Let's take a look at the Hillers lineup. Batting first is the second baseman, Emily Whalen. Hitting second and playing short, Alyssa McIntyre. Hitting third, the pitcher, Katie Holly. Batting clean up the third baseman, Emma Murphy. Jillian Cedia, the catcher, batting fifth. Bella Ansi, the first baseman, batting sixth. Jordan Chevelle, the center fielder, batting seventh. Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder, batting eighth. And Megan Sullivan, the center fielder, batting ninth. Let's take a look at the Dedham defense. Thanks, Tom. You have Maddie Friday at third base, Gianna Scarpower at uh, shortstop, uh, Ashley Glade, first base, Molly Egan, pitching, Ciara Bolotti, behind the plate, Sydney Salemi in left, Julia Salemi in center, and Lucia Florio. There's a lot of vowels here, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly is. As Emily Whalen will step in to lead things off for the Hillers. Molly Egan, the pitcher for Dedham. Pretty good season so far at the plate for Emily Whalen. She's hitting a 458. And she'll bunt here, fouled away. She's 11 for 24 overall, has scored five runs, driven in one. As we've seen over the years, she'll bunt anytime, any place, anywhere. I'm not sure whether Katie Hawley wears a mask or not when she throws. I don't believe she does. And this is up the first base side, gloved by the first baseman, and she will lay down the tag, out number one. Emily Whalen trying to avoid the tag. Nice little maneuver there. Uh, nice deke, nice deke. And three unassisted out, and that'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop. The big, tall, lanky shortstop, Alyssa McIntyre. 333 on the season. Seven for 21 overall, five runs scored, three driven in, and a double to her credit. Her brother, Brett, is back from Clemson. He won number eight, played right field last year. A little upset with him. He didn't bring any uh, pulled pork back from South Carolina for me. <laughs> they were in the ATL over the weekend. Ah. All the way, one and two. Very upset. Very, very upset. The wind, as it often does, picking up a bit here the Hiller's softball diamond. Molly Egan set to deal. That pitch just outside, two and two. That's a good take. Very close pitch. Two nothing Dedham, the boys game on field two. This is up the middle, taken by the third baseman. Throw to first, a little high, but no problem for Galar to pull it down, two away. That'll bring up Katie Holly, the pitcher. Allen 
one fouled away, 0-1. Katie's a captain this year. She has pitched pretty well and done pretty well at the plate. 440 on the season. 11 for 25 overall. 10 runs scored, seven driven in, two doubles and two home runs. And now the 1-1 one -one pitch. And she tattoos this ball over to left field. That's going to drop in for a hit. Holly rounding first. Over to second she goes, and it's a stand-up double for the Hillers with two outs. That'll bring up Emma Murphy, the third baseman. Well, that's what the doctor ordered for the Hillers. Wow, she got a piece of that one. Turned the wind around. Emma Murphy at a 250 mark on the season. He runs scored six driven in. There's a strike as Katie Holly thought about taking off. Back to the bag she goes. I don't think they see a lot of lefties in high school softball. Strike two. Big lead over at second for Katie Holly. That pitch low, one and two. She's lucky to still be standing there. Very close to take. Emma's got good back control, though. Egan set the deal. This is hit in the air right side, and that'll get down for a hit. Holly being waved around third, and it's a 1-1 game. And now going over to second, Emma Murphy to throw over in time. So they get the third out, an RBI single for Emma Murphy. She's tagged out trying to advance. It's one to one as we head to the top of the second. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller softball on HCAN. Top of the second inning, seven, eight, and nine do up for Dedham. Sierra Balot, the catcher, Lucia Florio, the right fielder, and Julia Salami, the center fielder, to face Katie Holly. A one to one ball game as we start this top half of the second. Pitch down low, 1-0. The Hillers scored via a hit from Emma Murphy to drive in Katie Holly. Murphy was then tagged out trying to advance the second, and that ended at the bottom of the first. That one's fouled away, 1-1. One one. Julia's doing a little bit better job balking those balls in front of her. Getting down on her knees and not letting the balls go through her legs. Catch her up there at uh, field two. As this one is crushed over to left field to the fence, and that is going to drop for a hit just in front of Chevelle. And the runner will advance to second. It is a stand up double for Sierra Balot, the catcher. That'll bring up Lucia Florio. And this Dedham lineup keeping Jordan Chevelle busy over in left field. Well, I think we learned something about Dedham already. They, can, they certainly have some hitters in this lineup. Maybe they get juice bats. Maybe that's a thing, Tom. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're uh, heavily tested here by this umpire we have. 0-1. Oh, I didn't see him check the backs at all. He, Backs at all. He just ran from his car and got, got into play to the ground rules. I gotta give him credit though. He's calling the game by himself and he's doing a nice job so far. 0 and 2. Runner on second, no outs for Dedham. The 0 2. Swinging strike. And there's out number one. A lot thought about taking off from second, but she turns back around. It'll bring up Julia Salami, the center fielder. There's a strike. And both the Hillers and Dedham very much in the playoff picture. And believe it or not, we're already past the midseason point pretty much. So now's the time to try to rack up some wins for those teams that are kind of in the middle of the road as there's a bunt for strike two. She offered it that one. 
It was good Hopkinton rotation in the field. Center field that came in, creeped in behind the runner just in case there was a throw. This is hit high in the air, third base side, and caught in foul territory by Emma Murphy. Two away. I'll bring up Gianna Schiapara, the shortstop. That's Nomar's cousin. <laughs> no more did cross my mind when I saw that name at shortstop. As this one's hit high in the air, shallow left field and caught by Jordan Chevelle. After a leadoff double by Balot, they go one, two, three, and we will head to the bottom of the second. It's Dedham one, Hopkinton one. You're tuned in to Hiller's Softball on HCAM. Bottom of the second inning, five, six, and seven do up for the Hillers. Jillian Cedia to start things off, followed by Bella Ansi, the first baseman, Jordan Chevelle, the left fielder, as the first pitch up high, one and oh. Hillers were able to tie things up in the bottom of the first after Dedham scored in the top of the inning. Another up high pitch. Still mystifies me why a girl with this much power is that far up in the box, but Probably got her reasons. There's a strike. Swinging strike there. Two and two. And a deal, and there is a swinging strike out number one. And that'll bring up Bella Ansi, the first baseman. Bella Ansi had a 350 on the season, seven for 20 overall. Five runs scored, eight driven in, two doubles and a triple to her credit. And she gets a piece of this one, hit high in the air, left side foul territory, and at, just out of the reach of Salome. Bella had a good game against Westwood. Well, everybody had a good game against Westwood. Right. That was a disaster. Well, for Westwood. Yes. Molly Egan set the deal. There's a strike. 0-2. Egan's got herself in a groove. There's strike three, two straight strikeouts for Molly Egan. It's her second of this inning, second of the game, and now Jordan Chevelle to step in. Not a big fan of the Dedham uniforms, I gotta say. And of course, Dedham, a new member of the TVL that started this fall season. Is that pitch up high, one and oh. They could use a little more color. What do you think there, Tom? A little white striping. Down the pants. Yeah, maybe. Only the best for Hopkinton, Nike. The black pants are always tough, especially on the hot days. Two and O oh on Chevery, the sophomore. 286 on the season. As she follows that one away. Two and one. I apologize for saying uh, Chevelle a couple times. <laughs> the handwriting <laughs> on the lineup I was given. Uh, Chevery, Chevery. <laughs> Look like uh, Chevelle. You get <laughs> your mind Jordan back in 1967. <laughs> uh, pitch outside. Chevrolet. Three Chevelle. and one. <laughs> Definitely not a fan of those uh, socks. Jordan Chevrolet is sophomore. It's been a nice addition this season for the Hillers as she draws the walk here. That'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder. If you're going to play well, you might as well look the part. That's what I got to say. Waiting on a score from field two, Dedham and Hopkins and Boys. Bunt foul. Chevrolet will have to go back to first. Interesting call, Bunton with two out. Score still two nothing up at the boys game. Piece of this one, past the reach of the first baseman, picked up by the second baseman, thrown out in time, everyone's safe. And that was just out of the reach of Ashley Gillard over at first base. 
Chevery up to second. McCluskey aboard at first. Larry, what are you scoring that one? Well, it went off the end of a glove and did tip over towards the second baseman. You can't give the second baseman an error on that. And you really can't give the first baseman an error on that. First base woman, excuse me. We'll just call it a base hit because I'm a homer. I agree. All, all, hits, for, all hits for the Hillers. <laughs> That's right. It helps out Dedham in the fielding department. There's a strike to Megan Sullivan, one and one. Two on for the Hillers, two outs. That pitch just outside, two and one. Good eye. Megan Sullivan, a sophomore, is one for 18 at the plate. One run scored, two driven in. Nice stick by the Dedham catcher. Held it there for an extra second. The umpire wasn't buying it. Yeah, trying to place it in that strike zone. Three and one. Sullivan gets a piece of this one, pops it up above the head of the shortstop, and she will pull it down for the third out of the inning. And we will head to the top half of the third. It's Dedham one, Hopkinton one. You're tuned in to Hillary Softball on HKF. Top half of the third inning, two, three, and four do up for Dedham as Ashley Gillard, the first baseman, steps in and takes ball one. Ashley Gillard, Maddie Friday, third baseman, and Cassidy Hickey, the designated player, do up for the Marauders. Holly deals right up the middle, past Holly, and past the reach of the shortstop. And that'll be an awkward single to start off the inning for the third. As that one had eyes. Forward. Right back through the middle. I'll bring up Maddie Friday. Maddie Friday had the RBI single to drive in Gianna Schiapara in the top of the first with one out. Pitch up high, 1-0. Oh. Cedia popped up like she was going to throw down at first. <coughs> Sorry about that. Holly gets a sign she likes and deals. Strike one. A 1-1 one, one pitch. Just low, 2-1. Bella Onzi's got to get her feet in front of home, in front of the first base bag. That back foot does nothing on the other side. Just in case Julia wants to throw it down. That one's fouled away, two and two. Let's take you through the standings in the TVL. We'll do that right after this pitch. As this is hit up the third base side, foul. Medway's at eight and three, Ashland six and five, Medfield six and four, Norton up top at nine and one, Hopkinton five and four, Bellingham and Holliston are six and five, Dover Sherborne two and ten, Westwood 0 oh and eight, Millis three and seven, Dedham six and six. As this is hit high in the air, over to left field and ranging under it to make the catch is Jordan Chevery, two away, or excuse me, one away. I'll bring up Cassidy Hickey, the designated player. Runner on first, one out. Got a score from up at field two. It's four to nothing, Dedham. As this is hit high in the air, over to center field, ranging over. To her right is Megan Sullivan, and she covers a lot of ground and is able to make that catch for out number two. Where did she come from? She was playing deep out in center field and ranged way in to make that catch as Molly Egan will step in with a runner on first and two outs. Up the third base side, picked up, throw over. Not a problem for Emma Murphy. She just makes it look easy. Five to three for the third out of the top of the third. We'll head to the bottom of the inning. It's the Hillers one, Dedham one. You are tuned in to Hillers softball on HCAN. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order for the Hillers. Emily Whalen to start things off. Followed by Alyssa McIntyre and Katie Holly. Always a threat to bunt, Emily Whalen. 
Likes to run up. Yeah, and a near bunt there, but she held up. Is that pitch outside? 1-0. Oh. I believe she bunted every at-bat against Westwood and I think reached safely every time. That pitch up high, 2-0. Oh. Take a look at what the Hillers have done lately since the 12-0 victory against Westwood back on May 1st. They lost to a very good Norton team on May 2nd, 11-0 on the road. That pitch outside. And then defeated Holliston at home, 7-2. And then took on West Haven this past Saturday at home and lost that one 9-2. 3-0 pitch. Here's strike one. Hiller is certainly a young team and they had to figure out the pitching situation early on in the season, but they are certainly getting better and better as the year goes on as Emily Whalen flies out to center field, out number one. Salome there to make the catch. That'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop. Well, I gotta say, West Haven uh, has got some really, really good pizza down there. <laughs> Just thinking about it. But uh, I can't say, if, you know, there's a bubbling place in town that, well, leaves a little bit to, to, to be desired. I'm sure they didn't stop there for their snack on the way home. That's the Larry Sacklad rant of the day. That is my rant of the day. I'm thinking about dinner right now. A 2-0 count to Alyssa McIntyre. It's going to be the place where they uh, serve chicken with a guy with a beard, I think. There you go. There's a strike. <laughs> 2 one as this is ripped up the middle. That'll drop into left field. For a hit, McIntyre held up at first, a one-out single for the Hillers. That'll bring up Katie Holly, the pitcher. That hit ought to make Mama and Daddy proud. Unfortunately, not here to watch the game. Well, this is the part of the order you want up right now for the Hillers. Try to get another rally going and perhaps take the lead. Take you through what Dedham has done lately in just a moment as this one's fouled away. 0-1. Dedham on a bit of a skid. They're on a two-game losing streak coming in to today's action. They defeated Bellingham on May 2nd, 4-2, and then lost to Medway and Millis on the road. As the runner takes off from first, the throw up is off the mark, and Alyssa McIntyre has a stolen base. I gotta like Katie Hawley's helmet. I wonder if that's team issued or whether she want to gut it herself. Like tiger stripes. <laughs> Good distraction. Two and one on Katie Holly. Alyssa McIntyre just racked up her second stolen base of the year. As this is ripped in the left field, that'll drop down for a deep base hit. Being waved around third is McIntyre, and the Hillers take the lead. An RBI double for Katie Holly. She is just tattooing the ball today, Larry. Absolutely. She turned the win around on that one. Trying to help her own cause. The helmet, it was the helmet, Tom, I'm telling you. There's power in that helmet. Yeah, maybe you got something to that. That was the second double of the day for Katie Holly as Emma Murphy steps in. That pitch up high, one and all. Emma Murphy was the one to drive in Katie Holly in the bottom of the first. She reached on a, on a single and then got tagged out trying to advance the second. That pitch down low, we're going to take off from second. An easy advance for Katie Holly. Pass ball there allows Katie Holly to advance. Unfortunately, Emma's hit was a little bloop shot in the right field, but you know what? It's a line drive in your scorebook, Tom. That's right, did the job, drove in the run. That's all that matters. The 2-0 pitch, the bunt is there for a strike, and a lot will chase Holly back to third. There's a little poor rotation on the dead, Dedham shortstop. As soon as she showed bunt, she should have been rotating over to third base, but she was very late. 2-1 pitch to Murphy. She gets a piece of this, ripped past the reach of the pitcher, picked up at short, throw to first, and it's not in time, and the run will score for the Hillers. 
What a speed demon that Emma Murphy is. I don't know how she beat that one out. That was unbelievable. An RBI single for Emma Murphy, her second RBI of the game, and her second base hit as Julian Cedia steps in. Swinging strike. She didn't get cheated with that swing. She was going for the downs. A three to one lead for Hopkinton as they continue to rally in this bottom of the third. CD gets a piece of this one over to center field and it's caught by Salome. The throw in is gonna get by the first base bag and Emma Murphy is gonna advance to second. Um, E8. That was certainly an error by the center fielder, an errant throw there to allow Emma Murphy to advance. Two outs in the inning, Bella on seat to the plate. Runner on second. That pitch outside, 1-0. Oh. Emma Murphy goes back to the second base bag. Egan's throwing a good game. It's tough to have errors hurt her like that. Swinging strike, 1-1. One one. So far, all of the runs are earned. 1-1, one, one. and this is chopped up over to the shortstop and an easy out for the third out of the inning, but not before the Hillers plate two runs. It is a three to one lead as we head to the top of the fourth on HCAM. Top of the fourth inning, a three one lead for the Hillers. A strike there to Tanetta. Six, seven, and eight do up for Dedham. Vanessa Tanetta, Sierra Balot, and Lucia Florio. Katie's got herself in a nice groove. Certainly does, as that pitch is fouled up the third base side. 0 oh 2. What are your dinner engagements going to be tonight, Tom? No idea. Well, I think I'm going to town meeting. I got to get my straw hat, my suspenders, my suspenders, corn cob pipe, and my cowboy shoes, and stand up there and raise some heck. There you go. And this is ripped up the middle. That'll get through for a base hit. A leadoff single for Tanetta. On bring, the other hand, that'll bring up I Sierra Balot, the catcher. <laughs> Balot doubled her last time up in the second inning. Holly deals. And this is up the middle. Emily Whalen able to pick it up. The toss over to second for one. Now the throw to first. And oh, it's not in time. Get a replay. A four to six force out over at second allows Blot to reach. And that's certainly worth the replay. It looked like that was a good double play to me. That'll bring that's a up double the, play. I agree. That'll bring up Lucia Florio, the right fielder. And of course, one umpire working the diamond today. Oh, no excuse, Tom. No excuse. Fielder steps in there. One zero. One zero. The count to Florio. Struck out her last time up in the second. One's fouled away. One and one. Runner on first. One out. Holly set to deliver. This is hit up the to center field and caught by Megan Sullivan. The throw to first is not going to be in time as Blood is able to get back two away. If Bella Onzi had just another half a foot of leg, she could have stretched out for that one. That'll bring up Julia Salome, the center fielder. This is up the middle and past the shortstop and that is gonna roll into left field and Salome is aboard, two runners on with two outs. Right through the wickets on that one. Giving that one an error, Larry? I, well, as much as I don't want to, I have to. I agree with you. I'll bring up Gianna Skia Power, the shortstop. Rare error, that shortstop for the Hillers. So that one is able to get by Alyssa McIntyre. First pitch for two. Ski of power followed into the backstop, 0 and 1. Two outs, two on. Holly deals. 
up high. Briefly got away from Cedia, but a nice job keeping it in front of her. I think the Dedham runners have the book on Cedia. Don't dare run or thou shalt not steal. The 1-1. One, one. Hit high in the air, but foul. One and two. The field looks in much better shape than it did last week against Westwood. Certainly does. It certainly has helped not having much rain. That pitch up high, both runners will return. Two and two. Two two pitch to Schiaparra, and this one is right back to Holly. Throw to first, not a problem. One to three for the third out of the top of the fourth to the bottom of the inning we go. The Hillers leading Dedham three to one on H Cam. Bottom of the fourth inning, seven, eight, and nine do up for the Hillers. Jordan Chevery, Kristen McCluskey, and Megan Sullivan. Hopkinton was able to plate two runs on the bottom of the third and now leads it three to one. That one's fouled away, 0 and one. Chevrolet originally from Montreal, Canada, Chevrolet. Came down when she's just four years old. Egan deals. That one's fouled away. 0 and two. There's a hawk up there if our cameraman can catch it. He's not that quick, he says. He might come down and get me. He's checking out the softball game. Well, Egan set to deal. That's fouled away. Here we go, Jordan! Hey, Jordan, hey, Jordan, here we go, kid! There he is. Hey, Jordan, hey, Jordan! Mike Terosian on camera today. The best in the business. That pitch is just outside, one and two. I don't know what business, but he's one of the best. I think that hawk sees a mouse, or mice. Strike deals. Three. There's strike three, gets Chevrolet looking, one away. That'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder. I think Egan felt she had strike three on the previous pitch, but certainly had strike three on that pitch. Kluski one for one today, takes strike one there. And a single in the second. Egan deals. Up the middle it goes, past the reach of the shortstop, a one out single for McCluskey. It's a nice line drive for McCluskey. Right back through the box. I'll bring up Megan Sullivan, the center fielder. She flew out her last time up to end the second inning. Will she show bunt here? No. That one outside, one and oh. Top of the order, due up next, Emily Whalen, waiting in the on-deck circle. That pitch up high, runner taking off from first, the throw to second is going to get away from Tanetta. It fell out of her glove, McCluskey safe with the stolen bag. It's a runner in scoring position with one out for the Hillers. Hiller girls got their rally caps on. Swinging strike. Well, that's not true. They don't have their rally caps on, but sounded good. Good swing. 2-1 count to Megan Sullivan. There's strike two. Kluski should get a bigger lead out there at second base. There's nobody near her. This one's fouled away. First base side. Cow remains two and two. Look at how far the second baseman is compared to where McCluskey is at second base. This one's fouled first base side once again. Now remains two and two. That's just over our heads. Absolutely no chance for the second baseman to do anything. Egan set the deal. 
Up to the, to the shortstop this time. It's bobbled and she has no play. Everybody's safe. Megan Sullivan reaches on the error. They were playing her to hit to the opposite way and she pulled it. Here comes trouble for Hopkinton. Emily Whalen stepping in. She is 0 for 2 so far today. Two on, one out. The bunt, strike one. For a third time up or a third time trying to lay down the bunt. A leopard doesn't change their spots, Tom. Line up and the pitch. And this is a slow roller first base side picked up by the first baseman. And she's able to lay down the tag to get the out. McCluskey advancing to third, Sullivan up to second. But there's two away for the Hillers. That'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop. Alyssa one for two today. Had a single in the third and scored a run as well as stole a base. I want a pie, I want to know. She had a nice line drive hit her last time up. Two, two runners in scoring position. That pitch inside, 2-0. Oh. Hey, Katie Hawley will come up next if Alyssa McIntyre able to reach. There's a strike. Two balls, two strikes here, Tom. No, two balls, one strike. Up the third base side, picked up the throw over in time. And five to three goes McIntyre to retire the side in the bottom of the fourth to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Hillers three, Dedham one on H camp. Top of the fifth inning, two, three, and four due up for Dedham. Hillers with a three to one lead. As Ashley Glar, the first baseman, steps in and takes ball one, one and oh. Katie Holly pitching a nice game so far, Larry. Well, she absolutely is, but I uh, wish the Hopkins and girls team would lend some boys some hits. They're getting no hit upstairs. The oh field boy. two. Very unhappy fans there. 2-0 pitch to Gillard. Now one down low. I think it's Gillard A. Tom. <laughs> tomato, tomato. 3-0 pitch. This is chopped up in the air. Over to left field could be trouble, and it will be trouble. It drops down. A leadoff single for Gillard. Day. And that'll bring up Maddie Friday, the third baseman. I want to know. Dedham doesn't appear to be blessed with some good team speed. They haven't made an attempt to steal yet, I don't think. Holly deals. 2 0. Maybe it's the respect CD's arm. Well, Katie Holly's throwing a good amount of pitches in this game. Wonder if it's starting to wear on her a bit. As there's a strike, 2 and 1. CD framed that one nicely. Two one pitch. And this is hit over to left field. That'll get down for a base hit. Gallardi up to second and Friday's aboard with a single. Two on, no outs. That'll bring up Cassidy Hickey, the designated player. I think girls softball is uh getting more and more popular, more TV exposure they get compared to the boys game, which is just absolutely failing. There's a strike, 0-1. Can't even field little league teams anymore. That's sad. Well, certainly a faster pace game. As this is hit in the air over to deep center field, but placed perfectly is Megan Sullivan. She makes the catch and quickly is able to throw it back in to keep the runners at bay. One away, two on. 
And that'll bring up the pitcher, Molly Egan, who could really help out her own cause here. That was impressive. That ball was hit right at her. Those are the toughest ones to field. I want a pie, I want an O. Ollie from the stretch. There's a strike, one and one. Ollie deals. That one is in the dirt, and Cedia is able to keep it in front of her. Two and one. Jillian Cedia has been solid behind the plate for the Hillers. Another nice job there by Cedia keeping that one in front. Three and one. Yep, she worked on that obviously over the winter time. Now, last thing she needs to complete her game is moving laterally, right to left. As Egan gets a piece of this one, that'll drop in for a hit into right field, and it's going to be bases loaded for the Marauders with one out. That'll bring up Vanessa Tanetta, the second baseman. Pitch runner for Egan. We're gonna have a pinch runner for Dedham. It's in his chair oh, okay. As this is hit high in the air, foul. And the pinch runner is Jessica Andrews. Oh sure, absolutely. She's in for Molly Egan. As Tanetta gets a piece of this one, Emily Whalen makes the catch. Two away. That was a huge out. That was an infield fly, I believe. Yep. Field fly rule certainly in effect there. And that'll bring up Sierra Ballot, the catcher. Well, if you're able to get out of this, bases loaded. What well, was a bases loaded one out jam? That is certainly huge. That one down low, 1-0. Oh. Nice block, nice block behind the plate. CD has certainly been busy behind home plate today, especially in the last couple innings. As Lott gets a piece of this over to left field, that'll drop in for a hit. One in to score, second run being waved around, and we have ourselves a tie game. A two RBI single for Ciara Bolat, the catcher. Ashley Gillardi came around to score, as well as Maddie Friday. We'll have another pinch runner for Dedham. Molly Egan, or the pinch runner for Molly Egan, Jessica Andrews advances up to second. Pinch runner is Wave Balot. And for her sister, Sierra Balot, as this one is hit foul up the left side by Lucia Florio. Well, Dedham on a rally. They've tied things up here in the fifth. The Owen pitch to Floria. And this is hit in the air. Foul territory left side out of the reach of Emma Murphy. Owen two. Katie can limit the damage here and get out of it. Just a tie score, she'll be all set. I want a pie, one and two. Holly deals, swinging strike, there's out number three. But not before, the Dedham Marauders are able to tie things up as they plate two runs in the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the inning we go. It's a 3-3 game on HCAM. Bottom of the fifth inning, three, four, and five do up for the Hillers. Katie Holly, Emma Murphy, Jillian Cedia is certainly a nice part of the lineup to have coming up this inning as it is a three to three ball game. Two run score for Dedham in the top of the 
inning. Let's see how the Hillers respond as Molly Egan set to deliver. This one's right up the middle at the shortstop. She'll bobble it, and Katie Holly's aboard via an error. Oh, you got to give her a base hit on that, Tom. I got to tell you, she barreled that ball up really nicely. That's the third time. That was hit hard, but I don't um, know. Oh, I, base <laughs> hit. Emma Murphy steps in. And the runner's going to take off from first to throw over to second. Not in time. A stolen base for Katie Holly. Well, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> not either, but. <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. <laughs> Might have to go to the editing room on that one, I thought. Uh, no, that was very close. Could have went either way. As this is hit high in the air in fair territory. And that is off the glove of the pitcher. So that is going to allow Emma Murphy to reach first safely. Certainly an error there on a routine pop fly. Katie Holly advancing to third. Second error of the inning for Dedham. A lot of backspin on that ball, Tom. So. That ball went up. The catcher should have turned around and taken it. But yep. pitcher came in. They looked at each other, and the ball dropped. And it's certainly a miscommunication there. The wind definitely did play a factor. Looks like Emily Whalen might be getting loose to come in and pitch if Katie Holly runs into any more trouble. As Jillian Cedia takes one up high, 1-0. Might be nice to mix it up a little bit. Show them a couple of arms here. There's no out, two on. Emma's a threat to steal. As this one's chopped foul, and Emily Whalen making the catch in foul territory as she's warming up to pitch. She waves to the crowd. She makes plays even when she's not on the field. Egan set the deal. Another one hit foul beyond the backstop, one and two. Should I give Emma Murphy the steal sign from when we're sitting? <laughs> Egan deals. And Cedia crushes this one over to left field. And that is past the fence. A three run homer for Jillian Cedia. She's not happy, is she? Just powers it through. Wow. My goodness. Six to three Hillers. I think she broke a rock out there or something. That ball was absolutely crushed. Well, a couple errors allow a couple to reach for the Hillers. And Jillian Cedia is able to tattoo one past the left center fence and make it a 6-3 ball game. Unfortunately, there's nobody here to see it. So they'll have to watch it on H cam. We'll bring up Bella Otzi, the first baseman. Lulu Murphy saw it, though, sitting right behind me. She can vouch that one out of the park. Actually, her name's Lauren, not Lulu anymore. There's a strike, one and one. That one might have went out of the school grounds, let alone the park. Well, that may have rattled Egan a little bit. That ball was tattooed. Swinging strike, one and two. The Hillers uh, needed some runs with the 3-3 tie. They certainly got them. Still no outs in the inning, by the way. Up the right side, picked up by the second baseman. Throw to first, no problem. Four to three goes Bella Ansi, one away. That'll bring up Jordan Chevery, the left fielder. Molly Egan set the deal. Chevery rips this one up the middle. Glove by the shortstop, throw to first. Six to three for the second out. I'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder. Is today Wednesday, Tom? Must be hump day. Crowd is very, very sparse. Yeah, certainly a tough time uh, during the week to make it out to a game sometimes. As that pitch outside, one and oh. Emily Whalen toiling in the uh, bullpen. 
Egan deals up the right side and bobbled by the second baseman. She tries to throw it over, but not in time. Akluski reaches on the third error of the inning from Dedham. Two outs, one on. Megan Sullivan to the plate. Well, the Dedham uh, defense just falling apart here in this fifth inning, and it has cost them dearly. Temperatures dropped about 10 degrees since we started. Pitch down low. But you got your flannel shirt on, ready to, for a 30 degree day, Tom. That's right. That one upstairs, 2-0. Molly Egan deals, is hit high up in the air, right side and glove by the first baseman. And that is going to retire the bottom of the fifth, but not before the Hillers plate three runs, thanks to a three run bomb from Jillian Cedia. It is six to three Hopkinton as we head to the top of the six on HCAM. Top of the sixth inning, due up for Dedham, 9-1 and 2. Julia Salome, Gianna Schiapara, and Ashley Gallardi. Katie Holly is back out there for another inning of work. And she is now in line for the win if the Hillers can hold the 6-3 lead. A three-run homer from Jillian Cedia. Played at Katie Holly and Emma Murphy. And put the Hillers back on top. Looks like we will have a pinch hitter here for Dedham. Number 14, Purple Marauder. And we'll get you the name of the pinch hitter in just a moment, and it is Jennifer Alyssa, McLaughlin. Alyssa Wisniewski. Oh. So I thought it was. As this is right back to the pitcher, out number one. Very impressive. Katie Hawley fielding her position. Got quick reflexes. We'll bring up Gianna Schiapara, the shortstop. That one up high, one and oh. Hawley set to deliver. That one low, 2-0. It's nice to see Jillian block even though she doesn't have to. It gives her some practice for when she needs to. There's a strike, 2-1. and one. Holly deals, 3-1. and one. We got Coach Fran coaching over there at first base. One pitch from Holly, down low, and Skia Power draws the walk. A one out walk. I'll bring up Ashley Gallardi, the first baseman. Well, I thought about taking off from first, but returns one and zero. Oh. That would have been a big mistake. Big mistake being down three runs. Julian C.G. is having a great defensive day, but also a great day at the plate with that three-run homer. Up the right side, Emily Whalen picks it up, throw to first, no problem. And they're able to get one throw over to second because the runner was off. The runner was just able to get back in time, but that was a great heads-up play there by Ansi. He took a little bit of umbrage there, taking the turn. One more step, she would have been out. One on, one out. Maddie Friday to the plate. That one up high. One and out. Oh. Emily Whalen burning a trail from second base to second base position to the second base bag, hoping to get a throw from Jillian. This is hit in the air over to center field. Megan Sullivan arranging under it, and she'll make the catch. And that will do it for the inning. 
We will head to the bottom of the six, a 6-3 lead for the Hillers. You are tuned in to Hillers Softball on HCAN. Top of the order for the Hillers in the bottom of the six, Emily Whalen, Alyssa McIntyre, Katie Holly do up. And there's a bunt as expected from Emily Whalen, 0-1. Oh no surprise there, Tom. Certainly not. Molly Egan out there to continue on into the bottom of the six. 6-3 lead for the Hillers. Whalen rips this one down the first base side foul, 0-2. Oh Got a nice piece there, you could hear that. Egan deals. That one just outside, one and two. Good eye for Emily. You know the difference when they get a good piece and whether it's just a thud with a bat. Another outside pitch, two and two. Egan awaits the sign and deals. Up the right side, picked up by the second baseman. Little throw over to first, no problem. Four to three goes Whalen. And that'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre. Alyssa had a nice hit in the third inning. Puts this one up the third base side. Off the third baseman, glove by the shortstop, throw to first. And the throw is going to be off the mark, allowing Alyssa McIntyre to reach. What wheels? An errant throw by the shortstop. She actually could have had the play on that if she kept the throw a little lower, and that'll bring up Katie Holly. Got to give her an infield hit on that, Tom. Yeah, I thought that throw was coming right for us. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't scared at all. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to push Larry in front of it. The 1-0 pitch to Katie Holly. Fouled away. One and one. One on, one out for the Hillers. As they try to add some insurance here in the bottom of the sixth. Up by three runs. Katie Holly has had Egan's number all day today. Now she's two for three, but did reach out an error in the fifth. Takes a strike there, one and two. As an RBI to her credit, as well as three runs. And she rips this one up the third base side. Foul, one and two remains the count. I think it hit the third baseman's glove while going by. Heard something. Foul nonetheless. One, two pitch, just up high, two and two. She thought about pulling the trigger on that one, but was able to hold hold back on that one. And Murphy do up next. She rips this one up the middle, but it is going to be a great play by the shortstop. Gianna Schiapara on the dive, able to haul that one in. Two away, and that'll bring up Emma Murphy. She's got a big weekend in front of her. her older brother Joshua is graduating from UMass, Eisenberg School of Business. She'll be glad to get rid of him, I think. Have the house to herself. <laughs> Molly Egan deals. Runner taking off from first, and that's good timing as that pitch gets by Balot. Melissa McIntyre is able to advance to second. And Sister Lauren, when uh, Emma goes to Endicott next year, will be glad to get rid of her. Cut down on the food bill at the Murphy residence. <laughs> Certainly will. I think they're playing a little deep out there. What do you think? Well, Emma Murphy is certainly a danger. She's two for three on the day. Did reach on an error as well. That pitch down low. Two and oh. She's got power, but she doesn't have Cedia power. One on, two outs for the Hillers. Now 
That one is very low, and that is going to go off the face mask of a lot, allowing McIntyre to push up to third. Well, some struggles out there for Molly Egan. It is also a 3 0 count on the cleanup hitter. I think it's the uniforms, Tom. I think it's the uniforms. They're not marauding out there. The Dedham team is not marauding. Egan deals. There's a strike, three and one. Julian Cedia, Cedia do up next. She had the three run homer in the bottom of the fifth to put the Hillers up six to three. And this is foul up the first base side, full count now. I got some breaking news for you. Boys have got a hit on well, field good. two. Break up the no-no. Six nothing. Egan deals, and that one is outside. Emma Murphy able to draw the walk. And she has reached base one way or the other, and every at-bat she's had today is Jillian Cedia will step in. Well, the shortstop has got to take the throw here because the second baseman is really nowhere to be found. Cedia is going to pull the ball, so I think Emma can pretty much walk down to second base if she wants. An opportunity for another three run homer. That one outside and low, one and oh. Earl Weaver loved three run homers. For those of you at home that remember Earl Weaver. Egan deals. And this is up the left side, bobbled by the third baseman. Everybody's gonna be safe. Another Hiller's run will score as Alyssa McIntyre comes around. Jillian Cedia reaching on an error. And Emma Murphy up to second, the fifth Dedham error today. Ooh. And this is up the right side, slow roller, picked up by the second baseman, throws a little high, everybody's safe. Bases loaded for the Hillers. Well, Dedham's certainly having some infield struggles. Challenges. Dedham. Well, I've just uh, found out what every fan wants to know. A, uh, when you're marauding, you are actually uh, going to uh, search for things to steal. That's what a marauder is. Interesting. Everybody wanted to know that, I'm sure. It, it's predatory. You have to be in a predatory mood to maraud. And this has been another Larry Sacklad fun fact. They're having a little meeting on the mound, like a town meeting. Jordan Chevrolet. That's at will 7 o'clock. That's at 7 o'clock up at the uh, auditorium. They want to continue on. Now we're going to have a pinch hitter for Chevrolet. I got things to do here. We have uh, Kester come in and hit for Chevery. Well, maybe Kester could pinch it for a brother up there at field two. Maybe she can help out the uh, boys team. Might be an even swap. Bases loaded for the Hillers. Two outs. Big opportunity here. I want a pie. I want to know. 7-3 lead now for Hopkinton. That one down low, 2-0 oh to Tara Kester. The barn burner down here. Two zero oh pitch, 3-0. and oh. She draws the walk, a run will come in. Really? Just to remind the audience at home, Larry. There's a strike. Three and one. Bases loaded for the Hillers with two outs. She gets a base hit, they'll score a run two, right, Tom? That is right. Full count. Good game, good game. Why do we have you announce these with me again? Uh. As this is hit high in the air over to right field and ranging under to make the catch is Lucia Florio and that will retire the bottom of the sixth. 
but not before the Hillers plate. Yet another run. It is 7-3 Hopkinton heading to the top of the seventh. Last chance for Dedham coming up next on HCAM. Top of the seventh inning, last chance for Dedham. Four, five, and six do up as this one's hit in the air by Hickey. And it is going to be caught by Emily Whalen. A little miscommunication oh, no. there as Emily Whalen and Alyssa McIntyre got tied up. But I think Emily they both Whalen, caught it. So you call that P, right. P4 six? That was kind of in both of their clubs. Let's don't fight over the ball, girls. One away. Now Molly Egan will step in. One pitch, one out. There's a no low. soliciting rule here. I think there's somebody soliciting me for a basketball ticket. One and O oh is the count on Egan. In May, no less. Down to their final two outs. There's a strike, one and one. The marauding marauders. Swing strike, one and two. Katie Hawley has pitched a real good game today. She got in a little bit of a trouble, was able to work herself out. Oh, pitch up high, two and two. He gets paid to call balls and strikes there, and that was a strike. And I don't get overtime here, so we like to move the game along. <laughs> that one off the glove of Hawley, picked up by the shortstop, throw over to first, not in time. And Molly Egan is safe. That one, ugh, I don't know, hit or error. <laughs> that was hit pretty hard. It was hit pretty hard. It was a tough chance. No errors. We'll give that a hit. Well, that is the pinch 11th runner. 11th hit of the game for Dedham, and we will indeed have a pinch runner. Jessica Andrews is in for oh, Molly sure. Egan. Jillian's got to keep that hand closed or she's going to get it bitten off. Not a whole lot of fun getting a foul tip. Tonetta fouls the first pitch away, the 0-1. Up third base side foul, 0-2. I think Emma Murphy could have stretched out for that, but uh, seventh inning, up four runs. A little tired. One on, one out for Dedham. And this is fouled away, one and two. Coaches flashing signs to the hitter. Right back to Holly, two way, the throw to first, they double him up. What a great defensive play by Katie Holly. A one to three double play will wrap this game up and Help the Hillers improve to six and four as they take down the Dedham Marauders seven to three. Dedham scores three runs on 11 hits, commits six errors. The Hillers score seven runs on eight hits, committing an error. A great pitching performance by Katie Holly as she was able to battle through a couple struggles and allow the Hillers to hold on for the victory. The key performances at the plate were by Katie Holly and of course Jillian Cedia. Katie Holly going uh, two for four on the day, scoring three runs, a stolen base and an RBI. Jillian Cedia had the big three run homer in the fifth to put the Hillers up six to three at the time. And Hopkinton gets a big win over a six and six Dedham team. The Hillers four wins away from clinching a playoff spot. Hopkinton, seven runs on eight hits, one error. Dedham, three runs on 11 hits, committing six errors. The Hillers now six and four on the season. Dedham falls to six and five. For Mike Terosian on camera, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us for Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, and we'll talk to you again soon.